Good morning, interwebs. It's 11.35. I'm all up and around and dressed and stuff. We were actually headed to Manhattan and we got all the way down the driveway and realized we forgot you. So I came back to get you so you wouldn't miss out on our day. So I have acupuncture today. First we're gonna go uptown, go to the bank, get cash out for this pay period. Then in Manhattan we need to go, oh we need to go by Goodwill and Joann's, no, the acupuncture, and then wherever else we decide seems necessary. And you get to come too. It's 12.40 and we are at the happiest place on earth. Okay, actually we're at Joann's, but it's close. And um, I know Super Saver's on sale, so I'm gonna get myself some more yarn to make some more toys. And we need to get a few artificial flowers for uh, the food show this weekend. And you, you never know what you'll find at Joann's. And everybody remember that last week I went in and came out with nothing, which means I totally deserve to get something this week. Oh, I should probably, should I go get my, art, or my uh, reusable bags out of the car, Steve? Okay, Steve's gonna unlock the car for me so that I can go get the reusable bags for the heap of yarn. So, I did buy some yarn. I also bought more fabric. I wasn't going to originally. I walked through the door and Steve went, hey, did you see this fabric? And I said, well, no, I didn't. So then Steve helped me pick up fabric. <laughs> that is not quite how it worked. You saw the fabric and you decided to buy it. But then you made some comment about Paige. I did help you find more fabric. Yes, he encouraged me. Then um, I went to acupuncture and that was good. Then we went back to Joann's because they had overcharged me for a piece of fabric. Like they double charged me for it. And then we went to Little Caesars and got pizza and Sonic to get drinks. And now we just went to Goodwill where I found this new bag that is making me so, so happy. It Look will make your mom so, so happy Yes, it's too. got flamingos on it. <laughs> so growing up, I lived in a in an area that had like a homeowners association and I don't know, a lot of people were kind of snobby and whatever. But um, my mom and I <laughs> bought a set of those like tacky plastic flamingos. And we put them in our yard and heard I loved them and my dad tolerated them and my sisters hated them. But they didn't live there anymore so it didn't matter. So um, yeah, when I see things that have flamingos on them, they make me think of my mom. So I got my, my cute pink bag. And we found the shirt that we needed for my daughter's outfit for her thing for 4-H, for buymanship. And now, we're headed home, oh, we're headed to Dick's Sporting Good to try and look for a few last things and for that. Bee. And high V. Oh, that's right, the purple m and It's a good thing I brought him, he remembers things. Steve did not remember, our daughter did. Hey, but that's even better, because it's her thing. Well, I remembered too. Oh, but, but she reminded us. So, I have to go to bed now. I'm not really ready to go to bed but I have to get up incredibly early tomorrow, like six-ish, so that I can go up to the firehouse and make coffee and fill like this big thing with it so that me and one of the other board members from the cafe can drive it out to a field along with some coffee cake, serve breakfast to some group of people that we're catering for. Then we have to come back to town and gather up the things for lunch and we'll take that out there and we're serving brisket and pulled pork sandwiches and coleslaw and potato salad. At least all the food is going to be made. And brownies. We have to take all that stuff out there too. Serve that and then clean it all up. I think there's supposed to be somewhere between 40 and 60 people. So that'll be, I don't know, it won't be too bad. But it'll just be a thing that has to be done. And it's going to be, I guess there's actually going to be three of us. There's a teenager that's going to come and help us too. So there will be three of us doing that. And then, I don't know what the rest of my day is going to bring. I need to come home and get some things done around the house. So tonight, I did, I sat here and after I, Steve took the kids to the pool and we got home from Manhattan because it was free night at the pool. So they went and did that. I stayed home and filmed my We Hook Wednesday video. Which I then realized had an error in the pattern that I said because I had written out the pattern and everything. But that notebook got left in the car that Steve took with him to Marysville. So I was speaking off the top of my head 
not looking at the written pattern at the time. My bad. But I got that all going. I have a bug bite on my foot. I have a couple of them, and they're going to be crazy. Anyways, as so I filmed that and edited that and got that all up, and edited the vlog, got that up. Steve and the kids got home. We all hung out. We weren't pretty hungry because we had pizza, so we actually we finished. There were a couple pieces of pizza left. We each had a piece of pizza, and then everyone was kind of good. They all took showers and headed for bed. And I've still been up, and I'm still feeling very awake, but I, I need to go to sleep. So while I was sitting here being awake, I was watching some YouTube and working on the top of my dress. So the bodice is coming along. I think it looks all right, so... We'll see. I was noticing the seam is not perfect because I was kind of trying to figure out I was trying to figure out where to put the stitch to make everything do what I wanted to do with the herringbone half double crochet. So see how my my seam is not perfect. Like it is like now it's doing a consistent thing. But the first couple were not perfect. But I'm not gonna go rip out for it. If it means that it knocks me down placing in the fair over a few rounds, oh well. I guess I'll just take that. Um, at this point, I'm just hoping I can get it done in like the next month that I need to get it done to enter it in the fair because I have lots of other things I need to do on top of that. So I'm going to go and I'm washing the fabric I bought today at Joann's. So I'm going to go switch that laundry around and then I'm headed upstairs to bed. And I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.